Hey guys, welcome to Press the Attack on the Hua channel. I'm Army Bass Angler Pro Staff Eric Bruss. We are at the first annual Army Bass Angler Skeeter University Conference here at Lake Fork. Uh, joining me today is uh, Rage Tail uh, founder, I mean you're the inventor of Rage Tail, Steve Parks. Mm -hmm. um, Want to join us here at the uh, conference? Give us a little chance to talk about some of the Rage Tail. Uh, Rage Tail, this one here is going to be a structure bug. and uh, this stuff, the fish hold on to it forever. Mm -hmm. it, it works great no matter what the, the environment is, whether it's cold water or deep water. It doesn't really matter as long as you're fishing it right. I want to talk to you a little bit about the odor. Everybody mm -hmm. opens these packs. The first thing they do if they're a real fisherman, they go, and some of them even taste it just to see what the taste is like. But uh, the coffee. Tell me the story about the coffee. How do we get that great coffee smell in here? Tell me you know, how that works for the fish. Well, actually, the coffee scent uh, idea was actually basically an accident. One of the people who produced some of the plastics for us, he was out fishing. I think he was, um, he was crappie fishing or something, and he was drinking his coffee, grounds in the bottom cup, he pours it out like this, he goes to fill it back up, and then uh, he looks over the side to drop, drop a line for some crappie, and he sees a bunch of brim sitting there eating these coffee grounds. Mm -hmm. And he goes, hmm. So what he does, he finishes up his coffee, pours the coffee grounds in there again, and here comes the brim. And he said, oh, that's pretty cool. So then what he decided to do was impregnate some plastic with the coffee. And so, of course, he does his testing and hold, hold time for the fish and stuff like that. And now everybody out there wants to know, is this regular or decaf? Oh, this is not decaf. <laughs> they get fired up on they this. They get fired stuff. up, yeah. yeah. Plus, it's also got a, a coffee oil in it as well. Right. So that's the scent. I know a lot of people say, man, I've got to have that coffee scent. Right. And um, the truth is, is it's got a coffee oil and it actually has coffee grounds in it as well. Now, also, many of our baits are impregnated with salt. Right. The salt is so that, so that it'll fall through the water column. And so... Um, and it's also, believe it or not, salt is also a very great hold scent or taste right. for fish. Fish like the taste of salt. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's just another, another plus. Another thing that salt does is salt actually helps hide scent. Human odors Absolutely. and everything else. That's right. one of the great things about having salt on in your baits is it actually hides the scent that we have on our hands Let's say when we're out there fishing, it'll actually mask that odor as well. So when we combine the coffee odor along with the, the design, which has so many little moving parts, the fish can't tolerate it. They just can't They eat it because they're hungry or they eat it because they're aggravated. One of the two things, there's so much action. When you toss this out there and you let it drop to the bottom, there's so much action on this that it, it creates a response. Does. So when you couple the, it looks the alive. Order, right, it looks, it looks like a alive creature bag. and it's small and they go, hey, uh, I'm going to check that out. And when the closer they get to it, when they see the action, the closer they get to it, believe it or not, they're committed. And right. when, when, they get, when they get within two feet of any bait, if it looks alive, they're committed, they're going right. to eat it. Right. That's the normal. You know, if the, if the fish is looking at it and they say, how much energy, and they're calculating their head, how much energy is it going to take for me to eat that bait? Am I going to use up more energy than it's worth? They get that calculation. What they do is they end up getting this. You know. Um, tell me this. I, these these uh, rage tails are are uh, packaged individually. Mm -hmm. um, and and what does that do for them? Just makes it easily. Yeah. Well, the actually I think all of us all of us who are avid fishermen, uh, we've always reaching in a bag, and especially if it's a bait that has is supposed to have designed to have a certain type of action. So many times, if they're just in a bag, then they're deformed, and right. there's all types right. of deformity in the bait itself. And so, what we do at Striking and Rage Tail, we want to make sure that we give you the perfect bait every time. That's the reason for the clamshells. Right. We've been doing this since we came on the market. And uh, that was one of the things that Strike King and I agreed on when we started working together, is I said, hey guys, I want to give every bass fisherman my best effort. And in order to do that, I have to give them, put them in these clams. And they said, go for it. 
Absolutely. I mean, you know, the bottom line is it keeps it convenient. It keeps it, you know, you can pop the ends and it kind of keeps the water or anything mm -hmm. else out if you're outside. And it keeps them fresh. And there is some, you know, there's an advantage to that. And you guys are obviously doing something right. All the Army Bass Angler pros use these things to swear by them. And, uh, you know, if this isn't your color, if this doesn't match the water, then do something else. Grab another color or what have you. But this is going to elicit a response from the fish. You're going to catch more fish, I promise. I promise. Hey, Steve, it's great having you on. Thanks, sir. Certainly appreciate it. You bet. We appreciate our, great to be here. Uh, our sponsorship with, uh, with Strike King. Great, great company. You don't get much better than that. Um, hey, guys, if you need something and you got to get out there, try some Strike King product, especially this Rage Tail. It is the bomb. I'm telling you, you're going to catch more fish. So we absolutely appreciate you joining us today. And as always, press the attack. Whoop.